you loop what's up it's your boy hamlet and this video is about my trucking authority is finally active it has <laughs> it's been a minute folks um working out this process trying to get this authority started but we are finally here and i can now finally say this thing is active all right if you already here in the channel if you're new to the channel don't forget mash the like button and mash the subscribe button and drop the comment down below for your boy now before we get started i'm gonna give out a couple shout outs we got uh charles brent good evening good evening looks like he got a it's an international that's a new international dan the man so hamlet what's up dan the man we got kenneth barb what's up congratulations appreciate it they've done waiting for the live feed Hey, we're here, man. So, essentially, folks, um, this authority, I've been working on it for about almost a month now. And we're finally active. Um, I was waiting for the FMCSA to update the website on Safer um, for it to show actually authorized. Um, this is a process getting the authority started. This is not something that you should do while you're not working, right? Because it just takes time to do. Um, I would probably recommend doing this while, you know, you're probably leased onto a carrier or while you're, you know, if you got money saved up. The whole process takes literally, um, I would say about a good 30 days, maybe even, I would even say 35 days, depending how diligent you are working on your authority. I mean, you have to, you know, pay the three hundred dollars to. Um, we got Dan the man. How much money do you need, Hamlet? Let's find out. All right. Now this is going to be all case dependent, but initially, you know, filing the filing for your authority initially is the first. The first step is doing that three hundred dollars on the FMCSA website to do the. BCO3 and this other thing. Essentially, it's $300. Anybody can do that. That's the easy part. The issue is they have you on a deadline. So you pay the $300, your authority pops up now, but it's not authorized. You have, I think it was 60 days or 90 days to get your insurance, to get the paperwork done file the BCO3 and UCR and some other stuff. Mainly it's the mainly it's it, it's the insurance, right? Once you get the insurance, then you can worry about all the other stuff like compliance and all that other stuff. But if you don't get if you don't give the FMCSA a copy of your insurance, then essentially after 90 days, you have to start that process all over. You got to start that $300 all over. And if you paid into compliance um, with one of these carriers, um, they're going to hit you up. Um, and, and that's the thing, you know, you're going to go ahead and sign up your $300 um, for your authority. The minute you do that, your phone is just going to blow up for the next five, five days to a week. I mean, you're going to get and my phone is still blowing up. You're going to get people calling you asking about factoring, about ELDs, about load boards, about using their fuel card and and compliances, you know, like uh, you're going to call Foley carrier services. Um, other carriers are going to try using they want it. You know, they're going to say, hey, do you want us to file this form for you? Blah, blah, blah. Woody, woody, woo. And essentially, I think I have paid. Besides the 300, um, I paid, I'm not endorsing Foley, but I, I paid Foley to do the drug consortium. I can't remember how much I paid them, but depending on how much work you're going to put yourself to do, like to do the compliance, do the drug consortium, do these other things, you're going to be out the door just about a little bit under a thousand, maybe like. $800, $700, depending on how much work you want to do. And that's just paperwork, all right? We haven't even included insurance. Let me read the comments real quick below. 
I think I got my cousin coming up in here. Deborah Blair, my cousin is watching me. What's up, Deborah? How you doing? We got to catch up. Um, AKA uh, C. Gonzalez, AKA New York Truck, and congrats, hard work and dedication. Appreciate it, man. Um, so essentially, you're going to be about $800 out the door doing the authority just on paperwork. Now, on insurance, you're going to have a down payment on insurance, uh, depending, you know, how new your equipment is. But from what I've gotten, you know, between me, my brother, Terry, and some other dudes, the down payment for insurance is going to be anywhere from three grand to five grand or six grand per truck that you add on. So me coming in at two trucks, my down payment was about 9,200. All right. Now, you know, you start adding up the numbers, you know, you, you, you need to have money in order to do this, folks. You can't just think that, you know, $1,000 is going to get you by because it's not straight up. It's just not like we that was insurance. Then <clears throat> then you have to pay. Um, what do you call it? Then you have to get, you know, a new DOT done on your truck, whether or not you had it already because you wanted to have your new company name. And then, you know, if your mechanics find some more stuff wrong with your truck, you know, you're going to have that. Then you're going to have to, um, whether or not you got plates for your own truck, <coughs> that's going to run you another 1500 You know, and we're, and we're just throwing thousands and thousands here. You know, we're just talking about it. And you can see that this process is definitely not cheap. But at the end of the day, you're running your own show now. And nobody gets to tell you how to run it you, you see what i'm saying so yes it is expensive process and this is kind of what not everybody's goals is but you know to be independent completely independent and, and running your own loads or whatever is is the top of the pyramid i guess if you want to call that so you gotta play you gotta you gotta play to play right you gotta you got to pay to play. That's what it is. All right. We got um, YRC Trucking, Joy Cruz, Yo, 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 Dan the Man, Insurance is Hefty. Exactly. And we got uh, Point to Point. We got my boy Cornell. What's up? So what should be the steps? Insurance, quote, authority, buy a truck. Which order do you think? All right. The order that you should do this if, if you don't have a truck is... First, you need to see if you can get qualified for the truck. Don't even try doing the authority just yet. You need to try to get the truck. And if once you know that you're approved to get the truck, go ahead and start the authority. But I mean, that's, that's the other thing, though. It's like, OK, I, I'm going to scratch that. Start the authority. You're going to use $300, right? Then you're going to try to get in the truck. Then based off the truck, you're going to go to insurance and try to get a quote. Now, depending on how you're trying to do this, insurance might kick back the truck before you get approved because they might say, oh, we, we only do this year truck or um, we only do one truck a year, you know, on the policy. We don't want you coming in at two trucks. Like that was my issue. So that's the way you want to do it. All right. If you're thinking about getting your authority, you want to pay the $300, even though you might use it, you might not. It's just getting it, being able to have a DOT number so that the insurance can give you a quick quote and you know what you're dealing with. Then you can find out if the truck that you've chosen is going to work out with the insurance. And if all that works out, then that's when you proceed and go forward with everything. Now, as soon as you activate the thing, like I said, you're going to have about 90 days that you got to get insurance before you have to start the process all over. So if you're thinking about doing it, at least it's good because they give you a big window to get these things done. So just think about that. Whenever you're about to get started with your authority, you still have time and it's not everything has to happen. Bam, 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 right away. All right. Then now that the authority is active, all right, let me show you guys this website, right? I use this website. Um, you got C. Gonzalez. So you need a DOT number in order to get a quote. I didn't know that. 
Maybe, maybe not. But the insurance companies I was calling, they, that was the first thing they were asking because on there, it's going to show on your, on your DOT number, it's going to show if you're going to be, what kind of material you're going to be hauling. If it's going to be general freight, if it's going to be property, you know, it's going to be showing your address, it's going to be showing how many trucks, all this information and the insurance agents are going to want that, you know. You might be able to get by with a specialized insurance guy where you can tell him your details, but a lot of them, the underwriters, right, are going to go back to this website that I'm about to show you guys on what's actually listed on there and they're going to go by that. And, you know, that's why you got to have that DOT number set up. Uh, first before you get in that quote. I mean, that's why I say that, you know, uh, team prime logistics. Congrats. Hey, appreciate it. Team prime logistics. Appreciate that a lot. And way RC trucking. Yes. You need that DOT number to get an accurate quote. Exactly. And Joey Cruz has been gotten authority for how many days now? Um, or how many months, excuse me. So let me show you this website. All right. Anybody can go on this website and look up trucking companies and this, this is a pretty cool website um for a trucker he got he's been having his story for three months now and has it been going good i mean so we, we we already got somebody on here explaining to you guys that it is true you know what i'm saying all right so this is the safer website called the um, safer website presented by the fmcsa and what we're going to be using is called the company snapshot all right so we're going to switch the camera around uh, Joey Cruz, yes, definitely best decision I've made. There you go. So here we go. We're gonna turn this camera around. My camera's off right now. So right now, I'm just gonna erase this. We're gonna go ahead on Google, right? So that we can show you guys how to start it up. Um, we're gonna go Google, and now we're gonna search FMCSA safer right you guys see that it already populated a safer go to safer and boom company snapshot all right so for him right here you can enter dot number name all right and you can enter any name um for instance i'm just going to show you guys mine just so that you guys can see what a new dot kind of looks like all right you hit the search it's going to show the location and the name all right right here this is the main thing you're you're going to be waiting for once you get um once you pay for the insurance you want to wait for this to get activated this was in red the the prior day um and it said not authorized but the information your insurance agents are going to be looking for is how many power units you got how many drivers and essentially obviously where you're going to be located sorry if that's coming out a little blurry um where the business is located the other things they're going to be looking at is what kind of materials this guy's gonna be hauling, or guy or girl, general freight, metal sheets and coils, you know, all this other stuff, building materials, fresh produce, you know, uh, garbage, refuse, US mail, grain, you know, all this other information, that's how they're gonna be able to give you, you know, your quote. And the cool thing about this is that um, once you have some data on here, we're just gonna look up, um, Let's see, let's look up a big trucking company. You guys tell me what trucking company you want me to look up. Um, you wanna look up, let's look up uh, freaking Swift, right? Let's look up Swift. Search. Give it a second. So, come on. Sorry for the internet delay. I don't know what's going on right now. Swift don't want me in their business, I guess. All right. Let's see if I can refresh this page. It's loading right now. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go back. All right. For whatever reason, this thing does not want to work. Let's look up... Uh, Prime. We got point to point uh, transportation. That's cool. It's a great way to see who's legit. Exactly. I guess we froze there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, somebody give me a comment below. Let me know if we're still uh, still live. All right. So I'm going to switch this camera around. 
um, and show you guys we searched Prime, all right? So right here, we got all these different companies, all right? And you could essentially find out which is um, Prime right now. So you can see any, I mean, we're just gonna choose, we probably won't, Prime is such a generic company name that we're gonna have an issue trying to find them. So let's just look up Alpha Prime. Let's just hit one, one of those guys. All right, I'm not home right now. Well, I'm not home right now, so I could uh, show you guys the exact thing. So we hit that. Um, so we're gonna let that give that a second to populate, and that's a good website to use now that you're you have your authority and you could check out, you know, update that or whatnot, and and possibly look at, you know, um, whenever you do get active. Because here's the issue is once you pay your insurance, you might think that you're ready to roll, but it's not true. You're not actually able, able to roll right away. You have to wait till this website um, goes up um, and it shows actually authorized, right? So the issue is, is that it needs to switch to act, act, actually authorize for hire. All right, so this thing switched, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys a different company, all right? So we said uh, authorized for property, and this was Alpha Prime Logistics. We found somebody with four units and six drivers, and then it shows the mileage right here, all right? And then it shows the interstate, and it shows all that stuff. Then we get to see some cool stuff like, you know, inspections, total inspections, 41 inspections, you know, out of service, um, how many times, and what's the percentage, you know? And then based off the national average, you know, so you, you get some pretty, and then some crashes, one toe, one, one total, you know, fatal and stuff like that. Companies, brokers and all that are going to use that web to look you up. And obviously the cleaner you are, it's going to, it's going to reflect that. And then I guess you can use that to your advantage as a carrier now, because you want to know what's actually being said about you, whether or not one of your drivers actually caused a wreck out there, whether it did get reported or not get reported, because that's going to affect, you know, your insurance premium, because the stuff that actually does get reported, that's just going to, you know, increase your premiums as well. You know what I mean? Because it might not stay in house with the current insurance provider that you was with, but that information stays forever. You know what I'm saying? For for whoever, how long knows, you know, so whenever you do go to renew a policy and go to another um, insurance agent, they're going to look at those numbers. All right. The other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, so now that the authority has been active and like I said, you pay the insurance, you're not completely active. You're waiting for that red, that red stuff to, to change into authorized. You got to call the DOT. Uh, FMCSA, and they, there's a 1-800 number you can call, and they will tell you your actual date that it's going to be actually um, actually reported. It, they're going to show the stuff that's actually going to be reported. Anyways, um, Jesus, I lost my train of thought. Let's see. People were saying, so everything that's reported may show on that site. Exactly. Um, point to point. Corner. That's exactly what's going to happen. Why well, I see, yo, let me see that again. Google search phone was acting up. Um, Joey Cruz, you're going to look up FMCSA Safer. S-A-F-E-R. Safer. And that's going to show you your website. I'll switch it again for you, right? So you can see Safer safermcsa.dot.gov, right? And we'll go back a couple times to show you company snapshot, right? Company snapshot is what's going to show you all your information on there. Okay. So after, you know, calling the DOT and finding out when your authority is actually going to be active, they'll give you a date. Then once you get that date, they say, okay, on this date, this is what's going to happen. Um, we're going to give you your letter of active authority, something along that line, along those lines. 
you still are not able, even though you your thing says active, you're still not actually able to pull your first load because brokers are going to require this letter. This letter doesn't get sent till like seven days, seven business days from the day, and it could even possibly take longer, seven business days from the day your thing got active. So my thing got active today, and I have to wait for this letter in seven business days. So that's even more time and more downtime that you know I'm not running and pulling loads that I have to wait. But here's something that Terry, Terry Rushing, uh, YouTube dude, he told me about. He said, once you get active, there's going to be companies calling to get you that letter sooner, right? This letter, once I got active, I got an email and it says, hey, we can provide you the letter of authority for a processing fee of $17 or something like that. All right. And I can get it right away. It's pretty much on the Internet. I print it out and now I can give it to the brokers. And instead of waiting seven business days, then I can start hauling loads as much as tomorrow. Right. Thing is, too, is like now with your authority being active, you want to get this, the, the ball rolling on a lot of stuff, you know, stuff like filling out carrier packets for the brokers that you can deal with on your first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. You want to start filling those out so that you're not, you know, on the road, filling them out and potentially losing a load because, you know, it takes time to fill these things out. And if you see a load that you want and it's paying good, chances are by the time you call back, it's going to be gone. You got companies uh, like the fuel cards, you know, what, what fuel card are you going to use, you know, or what factoring company you're going to wind up choosing, what, um, who you're going to choose to do your, your drug and alcohol consortium, um, and just back office stuff, you know, if you're going to do ELDs, if you're going to do paper logs, or um, there's all this other stuff that goes to having an authority. Um, C. Gonzalez, did you apply for your authority yourself or hire someone to do it? I applied for myself, but then I had fully do a couple of my stuff um, that I wasn't too comfortable doing. And I just honestly, I just didn't have the time. All right. Let's see. We got some comments. YRC Trucking, um, and he's confirming. Yep, yep. Mines actually came in real quick. They tell you seven to 10 business days, but I got mines in four days. And see, and that's exactly what I'm saying is, um, you know, maybe you might get in four days, you might get it sooner. But for those that are listening to this video and thinking about getting authority and need that letter of authority, there's companies out there that will, you know, speed that up or whatever. And you can get it much sooner than the seven business days, that, like they say, or, you know, so I'm hoping to pull my first load come Monday or Tuesday right now. I left the shop and I'm spending some time right now with the family and just getting the back office uh, stuff getting ready. Um, hopefully I pull my my first load on Monday. I have the guys working on the black truck right now. And my boy Mitchell is, um, you know, fixing a couple of things that the truck needed and things are getting done. So hopefully come Monday, I'll go back to my shop. Everything is looking good for the truck. And I'm pulling my first load on Monday and then we can run some numbers uh, because now we're getting 100% of the, well, almost 100% because I'm using a factoring company. Um, we got C. Gonzalez, did you switch your plates over? No, I still haven't switched the plates over. And that's the other thing is that, you know, on my case, I had to switch, I'm switching my, my business over from New York to Ohio and I'm still in the process of doing that. And... I still need to, in order to get plates from any IRP office, they require proof of address, right? And proof of address, they want bank statements, not any actual mail that has gotten there just yet. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to probably give it a month and run under New York plates. And I'll probably just have um, double insurance because um, I just... I just want to make sure I'm covered. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cancel the plates on my bobtail policy and then New York gets a hold of it or something. They say, hey, you got to return your plates or something. So I don't want I don't want that to happen. So essentially, I'm paying for bobtail insurance and I'm paying for physical damage. So I'm paying for it twice. 
but I need to do this right now until I can merge the gap and I have the Ohio plates and then I could cancel off the rest of the other stuff that's going on in New York. I'm definitely going with factory. And the only reason I'm going with it right now is because I just don't have. All right. So we still here amazingly. Uh, sorry for, for the, the freeze up or whatever. Um, but yes, I did go with factoring just because I don't have the capital enough to um, actually sustain myself for 30, 60 days. Um, the company I'm going to use, I don't want to say their name just yet. I like to try try them out and find out if there's any good or bad about them before I even you know put them on, on, on YouTube or say anything good about them. They said I'm going to come in with 2% and... I get to keep 90, 97% of the load. They keep 2%. And then this 0.5, or right, there's like 0.5 that they keep as, it's my money, but they just kind of keep um, on an escrow or whatever, something like that, along the, light, the nature or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with the factoring. I got the fuel cards that I've been using while I was leased onto the other company. And I'm going to make another video about fuel cards because... Um, me and my brother were talking about it, how how fuel cards work, because it, it never dawned to me how how they actually get money, you know? How do they actually make money out of the fuel cards? And so, anyways, um, that's what I did with the factoring. Um, and then I set up, um, I'm setting up, uh, what do you call it, for, for the fleet, um, pretty much quick, uh, what is it, quick trip or something trip? So I can't remember trip, trip pack, trip pack and trip pack. What it does is that you can now put your bill ladings and stuff in the envelope and then it gets sent to an address wherever you have it designated to. Um, I have a company driver that I have that's going to be coming on with me here in the next three weeks. So I'm going to be running two trucks and He's going to be driving one of them. And so I'm just trying to get, you know, things situated, make sure the app is all, you know, apps and stuff like that is set up so that everything is working nice and smoothly. Um, I had to get, um, th this is a, the laundry list that you have to get done too, is um, you have to think about what, if you're not on e-logs, which I'm not on e-logs, you have to think about how you're going to handle IFTA, right? And you can do it the old school fashion way, which is, you know, writing down the miles on each, you know, border. But I'm too busy for that. Um, just trying to grow the fleet. And once I add another driver, he's not going to be doing that. So I have found um, this company that either there was two solutions. Either they had the location turned on on their phone and it tracked the if the miles through there. I didn't like that because then... The driver could have his phone off and then it's not tracking the IFTA miles and then that's just stupid. The other one is there's a device that you install on your truck by just power wire, power in the ground, and the thing turns on and it just tracks it by satellite, which is the one the way I did it um, uh, with my trucks. And that way it's going to track the IFTA and I don't have to write down miles. All I got to do is keep fuel receipts and then calculate that at the, at the end of the quarter to... Um, be compliant with IFTA. Um, and that's how it took care of that. Um, anything else along the way, I will let you guys know. But, you know, I just wanted this to be a quick little video showing you that I've gotten that updated and... We gotta, we gotta talk to it because, you know, I. The fee for this this thing is not too expensive, I think. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see how good this this little unit is. Um, I bought two of them, so I'm gonna put it on, on both my trucks and whatever whatever other trucks you know. If it if it's a good if it's a good system, it's gonna go on all my trucks essentially. Um, and now I gotta also because I was using paper e logs, I gotta call Keep Trucking and see how can I get my account set up with them so that I can use that as for my carrier and then use that for myself and then my driver. Um, so that is the updates for now. Um, 
hopefully um i'll come on again maybe tomorrow or the day after there's two more other videos i want to drop before i do my first load and let you guys know in on one on this the one video i wanted to drop was the fuel cards and then the other video i wanted to talk was what happened to the lease and i know i've been saying that but i i got i gotta make that video it's just got i gotta be in the mood for it. i think i gotta be buzzed to make that video because that, that just thinking about that always just gets me upset so anyways thanks for watching thanks for watching this whole 32 minutes of this whole video and i know it was uh, the connection was shitty hopefully next time it isn't and at the end of the day um before you before i finish my, my the video don't forget to mash the like button and my subscribe button and at the end of the day folks it's simple get busy living or you get busy dying check y'all later be safe